seriously though, where is the girl to pee? I'm Montana Dana, and on this episode of Girl Vs. Van, I find a beautiful spot to work from home, film a video for my workout series, and it's my first night sleeping in the van. Watch to the end to find out where we wake up in the morning. Good morning. I stayed at a friend's house last night. I took a nice warm shower. I'm gonna get ready in the van today just to practice a little bit, get used to life on the road, and tonight will be the first night. We're sleeping in the van. Very excited about it. Just parked on the side of the street. This is my get ready station. I've got a giant mirror here, which is nice. I always spill tons of makeup and powder on my counter. So I'm gonna put a little towel here, set up my makeup here, put on some tunes and just get ready for the day. I've organized everything into little bins. I've got my makeup bag, my toothbrush and toothpaste, Q-tips, floss, makeup remover pads, stuff like that are in here. And this is my shower bag, but I don't need that right now. I'm just gonna grab my curling iron, plug it into that bad boy. And we're good to go. Got my towel, little perfume, face serum, face cream, coffee. Of course I have my coffee. <laughs> for the day. I gotta tell you, getting ready with a little cross breeze, a little sunshine, some good music. I'm excited to sleep in here tonight. I'm at Target right now. I just bought the final touches for the van. I got some curtains. They're really cute. I'll show them to you later. Target and Lowe's are right next to each other and this is where I was parking my van to build it just because I needed to run in and buy things like every five seconds. I built half my van in this parking lot but I did find there is a Jamba Juice over there and they have steel cut oats, my favorite. So I just get berries and honey on that. I also got this Meyer Lemon Yogurt. Yogurt. I love this too good brand. It's sweetened with stevia. It's really yummy yogurt, but they have a lemon flavor. Lemon's my favorite. So I'm gonna put that in the oatmeal. Also, they have these really, really yummy chickpea chips that I've been getting, and they're flavored with rosemary. That's a joy. To joy for. That's breakfast on the road this morning. I have my refrigerator here. I haven't hooked it up yet. I'm gonna do some grocery shopping this week, get that all squared away. Let's go get some French toast. So yummy, a little healthy breakfast. Really determined to eat healthy on the road just because I want to fuel my body for all the fun adventures. Obviously I want to look good, but I want to feel good and feel youthful and just have the energy to do all these fun adventures. I feel like it's going to be kind of a learning curve at first, getting all my stuff in order, but I do have a cooktop back there and that Jackery power system can power the cooktop. I bought a really nice pan that can be used like as a soup sauce pan and it can be a frying pan. So keeping it somewhat minimal, except for my clothes. That's another story for another video. The thing I'm looking forward to the most in van life is parking it in the most beautiful places and doing my work, doing my editing, filming my fitness videos. Today I'm filming for my eight week challenge. It's called New Bloom. If you guys want to sign up, there's a link down in the description. It starts May 3rd. So I hope you'll join me. I'm excited to film that later, but we need to cruise around and look for a beautiful place to park. Oh my god, this road, I found a beautiful spot. This road's a little rocky though. Sorry babies. Oh jeez. Oh, look how gorgeous. I found a really, really freaking pretty spot, you guys. I'll show you in a second. But this road, day use area, no parking. Dang it. It'd be so fun to camp here. Okay, I'll show you in a second. It's, it's gorgeous. Tonight is my very first night sleeping in the van, so I decided to drive up to Snow Canyon. I wanted to stay somewhat local, and I have to teach lessons in about an hour, so I just drove around till I found four bars of signal, and I'm gonna hotspot my phone. I also got an internet booster if I need it, but we're just gonna try it out. Teaching lessons and making these videos is how I'm making money on the road. I got my mic set up, I got my keyboard set up, I have my ukulele, and then my guitar is inside the piano, so I can teach lessons from anywhere. But check out this video. Something was wrong. Here I was dreaming, we got along so perfectly. And 
I don't hate this. I'm just making a little lunch. I have my fridge right between the seats up there and I'm hanging a curtain right here. It's kind of the very final touch on the van. I can put my little cooktop right here, cooking with a view. Oh my gosh. I still have to figure out my sleeping situation, but for now, this is where I'm teaching today and doing my afternoon editing and just working from home basically. My mom gave me this little crystal heart a long time ago. And when the sun shines through, it makes little rainbows all over the van. It's cute. Getting a little windy for a second. I don't want to get a bunch of dust in here. I mean, I have white carpet and white everything, which is not going to last long, I know, but I'm going to keep it as clean as possible. Oh my God, that view. I got the curtains in and how cute are they? Oh my gosh, it's so flowy and pretty. Also a little windy, but that's okay. You guys, I have to pee so bad. Like, what do I do? I'm going to assess the situation. Okay. I love that. I love that. Okay, back to me having to pee. There's nowhere to go. I have lessons in little less than an hour. Can I hold it that long? I don't want to drive somewhere. It's stupid. I've, I'm all set up. I'm in park mode. When I'm in drive mode, I have to take these off the wall. I don't want the mirror or the ukulele to break. So when I'm in drive mode, I put those two things down on the couch. I fasten this little guy. This was just the little end of the macrame thing. It had a really long string on the end and I just cut it off to use it for random stuff around the van. All right, you guys are being a little too aggressive. Okay, there, there, there. Oh my god, it's so cute. And these just so happen to be kind of short, so I love having something on the side to kind of fill in the gaps. Same thing over there. There's like, it's like missing one on each side, so it's nice when the curtains are pushed to the side. And then final thing I have to do when I'm in drive mode is lock my desk, because this thing loves to fly open when I turn right. So I just put this little latch on the side. It's quite nice, really. But seriously though, where is the girl to pee? There's nobody around right now there's not it takes what 30 seconds i don't see anyone coming up that road i could literally just pop a squat right there in that bush which brings me to the reason i'm still in st george and haven't started my travels yet i'm waiting for my nature's head toilet it takes like six to eight weeks to get it i ordered it two to three weeks ago it'll be here soon ish but not soon enough you know what i'm saying i have to pop squat right here right now crap someone just pulled up right behind me maybe they have a squatty potty i think i'm doing it just go, man. Okay, I'm not doing it. There's a guy sitting in the back of that car. Oh, man. Am I going to have to pee in a bottle? This was poorly planned. Okay, they left. Now is my time. My only time. I'm scared. Very scared. Don't pee on myself. Okay, enough about this. This is not what I want to talk about in my videos. But I don't know if you got the memo. This is a channel of realness. Yeah. Fun van adventure so far. I got some got some toilet paper. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. I'm committing. Oh, pee pee with you. Well, I did it. I did it. I'm not proud of it but I did it. I peed all over my foot. Note to self, always stop at a gas station on my way to my park it spot. All right, let's change the projection. It's time to get my workout in for the day. I'm filming for New Bloom, my new eight week fitness challenge. Hope you guys will join me. Now I just need to find my workout clothes. They're under my couch somewhere. See if we can find them. I know I have some food in here. Oh yes. Ooh, there's so many options. I wanna try the lemon one. These are really good though. Have you guys try these? Nut butter bar, the cliff bars. Reminds me of a peanut butter cup. Really good. But I'm gonna try this one today. Oh my god, it tastes like candy. I love lemon everything though. You should try these if you like lemon stuff. All right, I got my yoga mat. I just need to go find some clothes in the back. So there's almost too many options. Let's take a look. What do we want? I don't think we can be picky. We just gotta kind of grab and go. Let's do this one. Yes, my skin is very white. It's gonna look very reflective, but that's okay. All right, I think we're ready. Shoo shoo, shoo away. Those guys were giving some mad rapey vibes. Wasn't feeling it, was not feeling it. Workout, check. It's quite hot out here. I'm gonna have quite the sunburn. It's gonna be real cute, real cute. All right, one more lesson. Can you actually try that chord one more time walking up the stairs? Good, pinch real hard, squish the bug. Because if I don't push hard enough, listen what it sounds like. So you really have to push this hand hard. Now we're gonna run into town and grab some grub. Putting away my stuff and totally did not expect to see a horse over here. Holy. It's almost sunset time. Just watching the sunset. It is so calm and beautiful here. All right, it's grub. 
scrub time. So I'm at our rec center. It was three dollars and fifty cents to get access, and they have a shower. I brought my own towel, but they actually have some, so I'm going to instead of getting this wet, just use these. I brought in my shampoo, conditioner, shave cream, purple shampoo. I'm gonna brush my teeth, shave my legs, wash my hair, lather up the pod. There we go. Just wore my sandals so I don't get any nasty shit on my feet. Okay. This'll do. I'm parked outside of my friend's house. I'm super tired. I'm gonna make the bed. I have these blackout curtains. This blocks out all the light. So I just put Velcro on the ceiling and around the side and then put Velcro on the curtains. And I just put them up like so. I don't know if this is the best decision ever made, but it kind of works. I'm gonna have to just hide all the corners. But I mean, it's pretty stealthy. It works pretty well. I put up my blackout curtains up there. They're black on the other side, so you can't really see the light through there. But turning this into a bed is kind of difficult. There's not much room right here. I have to pull this out, and usually it's easier to open the doors first, but I'm gonna try and do it stealthy and just do it from inside the van, so. hot in here actually tonight so I think I'm just gonna do one blanket and this is where I store all my blankets up here so I can just pull them down if I need them super easy so I decided to just get in my car and drive to Palm Springs I'm gonna arrive at like 1 30 my navigation took me on this random road I mean it's not random it's the right road it's just like I'm the only one on this road it's very odd Ooh, there's some campgrounds I wonder if there's a place to stay around here that'd be fun all right, so I just had the sketchiest ride of my life. I went like down these crazy back roads to Palm Springs, but I found this BLM land that I'm parked on. There's a cute little camper trailer over there. There's one behind us. You guys can't see the stars, but there's so many stars. But anyway, there was a point. I'm getting into my back seat as we go. There was a point where I was the only car on the road and it was super sketch the whole time. And then there was this car parked. I passed it. God, I got so much stuff in my front seat. Oh, but there was a car parked and I passed it and it like pulled out behind me and it creeped me out because there was no cell signal and I was like I don't really feel like getting murdered in a Joshua tree tonight so I was going 80 miles per hour in a 50 mile per hour like really bumpy road it was kind of fun though but yeah me and Mac we hauled balls and we made it to our destination ish all right I'm definitely gonna have to pee before bed so I might have to pop out the back pop a little squat Oh my god, I have to be so bad. The stars are so pretty. I wonder what this can look like in the morning. I guess we'll find out. I have to go pee out there right now. I'm not happy about it. Not happy about it. Well, I'm just gonna be chilling. I cannot wait to get my toilet. Look how good this is. Oh my god, look. But I, I stayed in St. George waiting for my toilet, but I decided to have it shipped to Florida to my brothers because I was just like ready to get out of St. George. So how cute is this little place though? I'm so tired after that stressful drop. Oh, this is nice though in here. It. It's just cute and cozy. I can't wait to see what the view looks like. As I was driving, there were tons of Joshua trees everywhere. I could tell. Hopefully it's gonna be pretty. Netflixing and chilling. So I'm watching Outlander. What shows have you guys been into lately? I never knew, but I need to marry a Scottish man. I just, that's what I know now. I'm surprised I'm able to play this because I only have two bars right now, but I'm just hot spotting from my phone. I got my comfy pillow that I keep under my bed. And I'll show you guys what it looks like in the morning. Probably gonna fall asleep in five seconds. See you in the morning. Just woke up. <sighs> I'm really excited to see where we are. I'm gonna make some coffee and hang out here for a sec. However, I just remembered I don't have any creamer because my fridge turns off sometimes. I think when it's not needing enough power, the Jackery system shuts off. This is my favorite coffee ever. I bought like eight packs of it when I was around at Christmas time. I don't know if this is necessarily it's supposed to run the Keurig because it takes more than a thousand watts of power to run, but it works, maybe. like pumps up to like 1300 but it ends up working so i don't know so one cup of coffee
coffee uses like three or four percent of my power. I ain't mad at that. Black coffee is pretty gross, but we're gonna try it. It's very hot, but I slept pretty well last night. I tossed and turned a little bit, but it was super comfy. I have this little pad that goes on top of the futon. Got a comfy king size pillow that I keep under my bed. And then I just had like a fluffy barricade around the edges. I think I'm actually gonna leave it in bed mode. Kinda like it. I feel like there's more space back here. Oh, one thing that it's plain to see. The best thing in this life for free. That's so true now. night i'm actually heading to palm springs to visit some family i'm gonna do a morning routine slash get ready with me in the van coming up soon so stay tuned for that but thank you for joining me today if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you love to share it with your friends we'll see you soon